Hey guys, I'm Janet, on occasion, and today we're playing another Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. So, um, this one, once again, um, I got recognised, and uh, I always like to put up replays when I've been recognised by people, because uh, it makes me feel like a big man. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. So, uh, this was, uh, I was basically just playing for fun um, at this point, which is why it's a little bit um, excessive with the Witch Elves. But anyway, I've got three Witch Elves and a Death Hag, very much the theme of my army. But um, I've also got Malekith on his dragon. And uh, I've got a couple of Dread Spears on the side, some anti-large, I've got some anti-armor with the Dark Shards, I've got some anti-infantry with the Blackheart Corsairs, and uh, over here um, I also have some nice uh, sort of light cav just to harass things and, you know, be a pain in the ass. Um, I do love Dark Riders, I think they're really, they're just great. I, I just can't imagine bringing an army without at least one unit of Dark Riders, because they're so good for just, you know, vanguarding in the back somewhere and just harassing, you know, enemy artillery or whatever. I think it's great. There's just so much use out of them. So I'm against the Greenskins, and uh, as you can see, uh, this is what I was afraid of, actually. Uh, three units of Black Orcs. So this is not good for me. I didn't bring any Hargneth Executioners. Um, I've just got Corsairs, and they're not going to fend off the Black Orcs very well. So I need to get my Dark Shards on these guys ASAP. But of course, because um, of the stupid slope, um, yeah, if I end up fighting on the cusp, which looks like it's going to happen, uh, my Dark Shards will end up just shooting my Corsairs in the back while they're aiming for the Black Orcs, so it's just not going to end well. So Black Orcs, very good in this matchup, um, very hard to deal with. So uh, pretty scary, I'm going to definitely need uh, Malekith, you know, sort of on form here to deal with these guys. Uh, so he's also got some Night Goblin Archers and the Rusty Arrows. Rusty Arrows with their armor sundering is just a must, there's no reason not to bring them in any matchup. And uh, also a Giant, I think is a really good pick actually, because um, obviously I've got the armor piercing, um, sort of ranged units, but, you know, who cares about armor piercing? It's a giant. He doesn't have any armor. He doesn't care. So, um, you know, I think a giant's really good. They're going to really just help um, the front line against sort of Hargoneth, yeah, Hargoneth executioners and, and that kind of thing, which I think is really cool. Um, but, you know, obviously I didn't bring any, but still, the giant is going to be a pain. So, uh, also, he's got a load of Savage Orcs, uh, four units. So that's a lot of Savage Orcs to deal with. So, if he wants to, he can go incredibly wide. He can completely envelop me here. Also, he's got three Squig Herds. Again, these guys, really good pick, I think. Because, um, as you can see, anti-armor, anti-infantry, they're going to be a very cheap way to do a lot of damage to sort of elite um, units of the Dark Elves. Again, though, don't really have to worry too much about that, but it does mean he's got even more stuff that we can go even wider with and just completely surround me. And uh, also, he's got some Goblin Wolf Riders. Again, just like the Dark Riders, these guys are so useful, just harassing things at the back line. You know, they're so quick. Um, I really like this pick. So, let's speed things up and see how it goes. Uh, oh, also, he's got a uh, Goblin Great Shaman leading, which, um, if I noticed that it was the Goblin Great Shaman early on, I probably could have killed him in about two seconds. Um, honestly, because that is, yeah, he is squishy as hell. Uh, Malekith could kill him so fast. So here, um, he actually overcasted, so he's done a bit of damage to himself to, uh, yeah, use Night Shroud on these guys. Um, but of course, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I don't really care about them being invisible, because I've got so much other stuff to worry about. Um, I'm not sure where he'd be sneaking these guys. So, um, bit of a shame, but, you know, that's fine. As you can see here from the charge, um, these Blackheart Corsairs are basically dead already. So, uh, massive hole in my front line already. I'm trying to get some, uh, some... Uh, what are they called? I forgot what they're called again. Dark Shard Fire on these guys. And uh, I'm trying to make sure that I've got my Dread Spears ready to receive these guys. So uh, here I'm going to have to use the Witch Elves to try and pin them in place. So that way I can move these guys to protect, um, you know, against the cavalry. Uh, over on this side, I am doing a lot better. But um, the Black Ark Corsairs and the Witch Elves in here, they are struggling against all the Squigs and the Black Orcs. But with the help of the Death Hag, um, I should be able to deal with these Black Orcs. Um, I think they did get a breath attack on them as well. Luckily, these Witch Elves are broken through the back. Um, I managed to deal with one of their squigs with the Dark Riders, taking very little damage. But this time, they're actually charging me, and it will hurt a little bit more. Um, obviously, he's going to try and get some other stuff in there to help. But generally, um, I'm quite comfortable with this. Um, I think dealing with the squig herds with them is fine, honestly. Um, so over here, Malekith is helping mop up these Goblin Wolf Riders. But more are coming in. He's got some Black Orcs, luckily, still chasing the Black Ark Corsairs. Finally, Murderous Prowess is triggered. I would have liked that trigger a lot earlier. Um, unfortunately, it pretty much just happened from casualties on my own side, which is pretty grim. But this will help. You know, I've got some Witch Elves here still pinning the Black Orcs in place. The Savage Orcs are going to do great here, though. Nice, cheap way to deal with uh, Witch Elves. Over here, I've managed to get my cheap Spearman on the Giant, and my Witch Elves are still continuing. Now these guys have gone uh, you know, on a rampage. They're not going to be able to get away from the Witch Elves. Not that they last very long in combat with them. So you can see they are getting slaughtered. So that's great. All of his back line has been compromised. I've still got some archers, but not many. Um, but, you know, I've got my uh, death hag trying to make sure that things can't get too near. Because I want to get value out of these guys. Um, but he's just got so many men to throw at me. 
Um, his Black Hawks are coming back in as well, which is not good. Uh, we've just got Dread Spears in the back here. Luckily, Dread Spears do have good melee defense, so they will actually hold out much longer than anything else against the Black Hawks. Um, they won't get much killing done, but they'll hold out longer. So here, Savage Orcs now surrounded by Dark Shards. Very annoying, but at least we've got this Death Hack dealing with these. Uh, these Black Orcs over here. Over on this side, unfortunately, I let the Savage Orcs fight me for far too long. I should have ran away as soon as the uh, Squig Herd were dealt with, but I was having to micro a lot around here to try and keep my uh, my Dark Shards out of trouble. So uh, over here again, more uh, Goblin Archers getting uh, rampaged by my Witch Elves, which is great. So they're getting an absolute just, yeah, look at that, 160 kills already. Absolutely fantastic. Those Witch Elves did great in the back line. Uh, Witch Elves, fantastic if you can get them in the back line, because they're very quick. And the fact that they just make everything rampage that they touch means that you can't keep trying to run away and screen the enemy, you know. Um, they will just catch you. So here, trying to slow these guys down. Unfortunately, one of my Dark Shards got completely devastated and the other one is, yeah, pretty much the same. So uh, I just wasn't able to stop these Savage Orcs getting in, which is very annoying. Because so far, my Dark Shards have done very little. And uh, for the most part, for some reason, it's been Black Orcs that I've had to try and stop getting into my Dark Shards. So um, I've actually pretty much taken out the Black Orcs now, just by way of, you know, trying to defend these guys. So I guess I didn't really need the Dark Shards after all, which is kind of interesting. Uh, over here, so I've got these Witch Elves fighting against Black Orcs and Savage Orcs. But, um, you know, I'm going to try and help them out a bit. Only eight of them left, which isn't good, but all these guys are pinned in place. So uh, trying to go for the Goblin Great Shaman, but on that wolf, he is so quick. See, look at that. So I just keep diving and missing. Fantastically microed, that wolf. Fantastic. So, uh, you know, luckily, Death Hag still fighting these orcs. Um, I've made her rampage, but I've also used the... Um, uh, oh, there's another ability she can use first. I think I might use that on someone else over here, actually. So, uh, yeah. So I've made sure that these guys have gone out of control. So uh, the Witch Elves now are uh, have the Fury of Cain on them, which is great. It gives them extra charge bonus, extra melee attack, extra weapon damage, but you lose control of them. But when there's only one of them, um, yeah, maybe I should use it on someone else. Whoops. But um, still, it'll help me do some damage to the Giant. Uh, so over here, they finally managed to chase off those Witch Elves with some Squig Herd, who are, who are actually Rampage. Looks like they're close to breaking anyway. Um, so still hitting them with everything I've got here. Um, one thing about this battle, though, is I was a little slow at the start of the battle to start using... Um, uh, spells with Malekith, because that armor uh, piercing bonus that he gets, uh, map wide one, every time he casts a spell, I could have used that in that first frontline engagement. Um, so I was really slow there. So I actually took way more damage at the start than uh, I should have done. Well, at least, you know, traded less effectively than I could have done. And uh, all it would have taken is a chill wind, which is very annoying. Um, so I didn't do that, which is very dumb. But, you know, things are working out okay. Um, you know, my few dark shards are coming back, getting some fire on the black orcs again, getting some fire on these savage orcs. Um, I'm coming in just for rear charges and things with the Dark Riders. They're going to try and just basically try and make sure that stuff doesn't come back. Because uh, they're not going to be much good anyway. There's only 14 of them. So uh, I'll just use them how I can. So over here, I use Word of Pain on the Giant. So that's really going to help. It's going to lower his melee attack a lot. Um, he has been made unbreakable, though, with the Crown of Command, which is quite a cool idea. Um, especially being, you know, ganged up on by all this stuff. Uh, so here, once again, tr thought I could get onto that wolf, but I couldn't. And uh, now the giant is going to get back on my death hag, and I'm still a little bit caught up on stuff. So come on, Malekith, you need to get in here. So it looks like my death hag might not survive this. I'm getting some good fire with the dark shards on these guys again, but unfortunately the wolf riders are coming in, and uh, they will be enough to deal with these dark shards. I think um, just about, you know, they're they're not great, but I'm so haggard over there. Um, it's not going to be easy. And you see their leadership is very solid right now. So that's a shame. So over here, my death hag finally goes down, but um, the giant's been knocked over and I'm just wading through these savage orcs now. As you can see, Malekith is still in great shape. I've still got quite a few wins of magic. I'm trying to ration them a bit so uh, I can use Soul Stealer if need be. Um, now would probably be a good time anyway. Um, you know, do some damage to the giant, do some damage to the uh, Goblin Great Shaman. And uh, because, yeah, I'm going to run out of things to use that on to really heal. But I guess if I've run out of targets, then I don't have to worry too much, do I? So, um, so anyway, Malekith is fighting the giant. He'll be able to win that. But the giant will do a bit of damage before he goes down. Uh, so over here, I'm trying to block this guy with the uh, with the Dark Riders. But he's just so quick on that wolf. So once again, my Dark Shards are under attack, which is so annoying. Also, more Savage Orcs are coming in this way. Um, so I've managed to chase off these Savage Orcs. Managed to chase off... Uh, the giant, and uh, I have got these Black Art Corsairs. I did manage to use Fury of Cain on them before my um, my Altar of Cain went down with my uh, Death Hag. So I did have them rampaging for a bit in that fight, which definitely would have helped. Because, yeah, with the extra, was it, 26 melee attack, I think? Um, that would have really helped just chop through Savage Orcs. Just no problem. Every hit would have landed, especially with that anti-infantry bonus and everything. That would have really helped them out. So uh, here, though, um, it looks like everyone's getting stuck in. 
So, uh, getting my uh, Dark Riders back. I think my Dark Shards do come back once again. And I think I've got some more, yeah, some more Dark Riders over here that I keep commanding to come back over here. And as soon as they get a little bit closer, they run away again, um, which is a bit annoying. But um, here you can see, um, try and chill wind him, slow him down, but I miss. Um, if he was slower, I would have hit him, but then I wouldn't have needed to use it if he was slower. So, you see my dilemma. Um, I missed. So here, trying to take out the giant. Finally do. Nip at his heels. His Achilles heel, apparently. And uh, now it's basically just these Savage Orcs that are left in terms of his infantry. Um, I don't think he's got anything else. Yeah, I think everything else might have shattered. So, um, so that's good. So, uh, Dark Riders here trying to stop the Goblin Great Shaman again, but... Um, yeah, for very little reason. Um, yeah, yeah, they just broke straight away. They just didn't have the strength. I should have come over here, attacked the Savage Orcs, just left the Shaman to last. Because, uh, I mean, come on, army loss has got to hit this guy soon, right? So, yeah, apparently he's only got damage sustained, and he's happy that the enemy's routing. It's ridiculous. So, um, anyway, so I'm trying to get it in with these Dark Riders as well. Get on it with Malekith, and you see, I finally get a good hit on him. Good couple of hits, and that's all you need. He shatters straight away. Um, that great shaman, so hard to catch, but if you can catch him, he is doomed. Um, but seriously, I was lucky to hit him with that one, because he was really on form with his micro there. Um, but yeah, so I managed to manage to eke out a win. You can see uh, Witch Elves killed just completely decimated his back line, which is great. But unfortunately, he managed to decimate my back line pretty hard. Um, but one thing I did have that he really like, kind of did, but kind of didn't. Um, is he didn't really have anything like solid single units. Like, he had the giant, but the giant isn't really a good hunter. You know, it's not very good for reacting to stuff. You just sort of wade him in and let him do his thing. Um, you can kind of keep out of his way for the most part. You know, I just managed to throw spears at him and I didn't have to worry about him again. Um, you know, is is not that kind of unit. So um, the fact that I can keep running stuff away from him and dealing with other threats is really good because I didn't have anything super expensive. He could just sit inside and you know sort of demolish. Uh, but the fact that I had Malekith that was so, you know, mobile, I had the Death Hag, which is also pretty mobile, um, I was able to just react to a lot of problems, and uh, so that really helped. Uh, the Dark Riders, obviously, again, quite mobile, but yeah, fighting the Squigs and then getting caught out by Savage Orcs, um, yeah, they didn't have a lot of strength left, so they were only really good for making sure stuff didn't come back. So, um, you know, it worked, it helped. Um, Dark Shards did nothing, um, they did very little. But luckily, it didn't mean that he was, you know, completely just going ham, trying to get into my back line to prevent them from doing something. Um, whereas, I'd already got into his back line with the Witch Elves. Um, so, you know, he could have used those units to protect his ranged units, and use the ranged units to do some damage, but then it would have given the Dark Shards more time to do damage. And It's messy, right? It's tough to know how to, how to react to this. Um, but I think he could have gone wide enough with all the Savage Orcs um, that he could have completely fenced off, you know, all of his all of his ranged units and still had you know enough strength with like the goblin wolf riders and things to get in the back line and cause a problem because uh, let's be honest my front line did not hold up it did not hold up well at all against the black orcs so um yeah but it's fun though it was a fun match so i really enjoyed it so um i, I want to give this guy you know a shout out here because i i but i can't pronounce his name uh but he played fantastically he was uh, he was concerned he was going to get completely crushed um, but he wasn't. He did great. He did really well. This was a really close match. Unfortunately, he just didn't really have anything that could tie down Malekith, and that was, you know, that was the biggest um, sort of issue. Um, if he was able to keep pressure on me with his archers, then that would have been really tough for me to use him properly. Um, but, you know, I managed to get in the back line too quickly, unfortunately. But other than that, you know, it worked great. Uh, this was a really fun match. So, um, Saab? Sabe? Sabe? TSA3B? I'm not sure. Um, either way, well played, dude. And uh, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.